And we are back again and again and again. I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones. What's going on? Man, good. To, and we there we go. We got a special guest. <laughs> now we don't do interviews that often, but XT Jones came to XT Jones, my bad, my bad. The artist formerly known yeah. as T Jones. Came I'm not to an me, artist. You keep saying that. <laughs> came to you me and with such fervor, he was like, We need to interview this person. And I was mm-hmm. like, dude, I'm always down for an interview. And he said she's badass and she takes no shit. And she's like 18 hours ahead of us. So she's in the future talking to us in the past. And hopefully she could tell us what lotto numbers to pick. We Please. have Mew Mew Cow. How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. How are you guys doing? You doing know, I'm solid. Doing I think that was my best intro ever. I'm a pepper. It was. It was. You 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 threw you threw some salt and pepper in there, man. You I, really throw some do a little garlic salt in there and all that. Yeah, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, you have to be speechless. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, it's funny. It's funny. She was. She was like, "What do I say?" I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> the legend, Mew Mew Cow. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, how we met, we were I was streaming one night, late, late one night, and um, I was playing PUBG, and Mew, Mew jumped into the, the stream and was telling me, you know, how to how to do things, and and then she was like, hey, do you want to party up? Then we party up and started playing. And when I say she was kicking ass and taking name, she was running, grabbing crates. I was Damn. dead watching her. Yeah, the legitness here. <laughs> I'm all up in that. Oh. Crate, 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 grabbing crates, getting kills, and I, and this is so uh, on my friends list at least the best person I have in PUBG on my friends list, and I'm new to it on on PC. So we just we just started playing, and then she made one statement about microtransactions, and I said, you know what, I got to have you on the podcast. We we got to <laughs> have you on the podcast, and she said, sure. You know, so I, I'm so sick of those damn things. They drive me nuts. Thank you so much. It, you know how bad microtransactions are. There's actually a story that's out. A fam- uh, a guy who's a famous hacker who's like his name is well known, but clearly nobody knows who he is. He actually mm-hmm. decided to stop hacking because he made his money off of it. But the reason he stopped hacking is because the economies within the games are now built around microtransactions that through him hacking it is in his eyes stealing. He felt like Robin yeah. Hood, but now he doesn't anymore because he's actually breaking the game <laughs> by st- by messing with the microtransactions. So that's yeah. how bad it is that it convinced the hacker to stop. Yeah, I mean micro- microtransactions are for like Give me the option. Like, if if it, if you gave me a game, like Fortnite does it well. Fortnite is a game that does it well with microtransactions, which is cool because either you can pay for it to get there, or you can do the challenges to get there. I'm okay with that, but that's more for like the big people, the people with the cash. Because I'm not buying no damn skins and all that extra stuff. Give me the V bucks after I complete the challenges to buy that stuff. And that's yeah. kind of the only one I agree with, to be honest. Cosmetics. I mean. Look, yeah, or cosmetics is there too, but I mean, I don't really care for cosmetics. Just like I don't care about, you know, how things look in game, like display resolutions and all of that. So I don't really care for cosmetics, but it's just to me at least, if I gotta pay to win, I'm not gonna play it. Like there's yeah. a new there's a new first person shooter that I've been meaning to try out called Iron Sight, and this game is it's it's a PC game. It's free. But you can pay to unlock different stuff within the game. From how I heard, I haven't even downloaded the game. And when I heard that, I was like, I'm good because it's probably people that got sponsored to play the game that <laughs> they gave them. You know, I'm like, nah, I'm, I don't. That don't feel right to me, so I'm not gonna do it. Now, mute. So, tell me. So tell me what bothers you the most about micro microtransactions. Well, just like he said, if you can do challenges to unlock it. I don't mind it. But the other extreme that a lot of... It's really bad in mobile gaming. Mm. Really, really, really bad. The other extreme is like, hey, you know, there's this super great thing for, I don't know, fucking Farmville. Mm. All right? And it costs 600 gems to buy it. You really want it and upgrade your stuff. And you can earn gems, but in order to get those 600 gems, you need to buy this one thing. 
it's going to take you weeks. It's going to take you months to sit there and watch videos after videos after videos. And honestly, I don't, if I'm doing something like that, I don't even watch them. Just, yeah, sure, I'll watch this video and I'll stare at the TV for, you know, two minutes. I'm like, oh, it's done. Yeah. But, or, or you can give us, you know, just this $2 and it's only $2. But, you know, you make $52 transactions. That's 100 bucks right there. Yep. Mm-hmm. There you go. It, yeah. See? And no, I, go ahead. No, so with my, it's funny that you bring up mobile gaming. That's actually where microtransactions really got their their uh, their jump start. Um, because people were making money hand over fist. I mean, Bejeweled. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Clash Candy of Crush, Clans. Candy Crush, yeah. Clash of Clans, Clash of Clans. Um, even even the um those different social media games. Um, which Candy Crush also rolled over into social media gaming as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, Farm, on Facebook. Yeah, Farmville as well. Um, it's it's so crazy that money is the driving force, and it sucks that us as gamers end up paying for it. Um, and it, it ruins the experience. Like, look what happened with um, Shadow of War. Shadow of Mordor was one of the best games I ever played. I mm-hmm. loved it. I loved it. And then I got Shadow of War, and I went, what the fuck? It because they added microtransactions. Yeah. Yep, they added microtransactions and broke their own game. They had a perfect system, and uh, perfect system in place, and they completely ruined it with the next game. And then guess what they did? Six months into the game being released, or however see, months in, they took away. They took it away. See, it, it, we just made reference to that Alice game, and we'll we'll touch more on that later. But it's like. The the older you get, the the crazier you have to look at things that you don't really pay attention to. And we talk about this all the time. I tell them, um, I, I say, yo, as a consumer, we don't really mess with that because that's not how it should. We don't look at it to be. But if you're looking at it from the developer standpoint and the, the people creating the game, it's a money grab. That's all it is. It's People just want to grab as much money they can from you, and then they'll go about their they'll go about their day. Because look at, we talk about this all the time with like sports games, two K, Madden, all these games where you can buy packs inside of the game, and then you telling me, twelve months after you drop this game, another game is going to come out, and none of this stuff is transferable. I got to start all over. We talk about it all the time, and I. Me personally, like I, I've always said this, if it's cosmetic and and it doesn't affect me gameplay wise, by by all means, spend your little whatever you're gonna spend because I'm not gonna do it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I I don't buy microtransactions like that because I just don't see. I'm not about to invest all this time, especially if I don't play the game like that. And and this is and this is something I know we're we're talking about money. And if I'm not mistaken, Mew, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't your guys' exchange, uh, the exchange rate, aren't you guys spending more money on games than we are in the U.S.? Oh, yeah, we are spending. For me to get, oh, what was the latest one that came out? The ship's game, the pirate game. Oh, Sea of, uh, sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves, $100 Australian. Really? I wonder what what is your um, strength compared to us? It's ridiculous, but... What's really sad about these microtransactions and the money grab is that the quality of games has gone so far downhill. You have pre-release like PUBG. PUBG is a good game, but they haven't put enough effort into it to properly release it. They're still releasing fixes and bugs and, you know, still messing around with stuff. It isn't a finished product, but that's what's passing as a finished uh, product nowadays. A quarter of a game is now a finished product. They did the same thing with Rust. And for stuff packs, EA is the worst for it. The Sims, you get the base game, and then you get all the expansions, and they release stuff packs for 20 30 bucks each. It is just, it's awful. Yeah. I agree with that. And you That's know- how Fortnite is. Fortnite's still early, early access. The Hunt Showdown is still, all these games are still early access. And, and it's sad to see how many people are so enthralled with it you know head driven and dove right into these games i mean fortnite has been number the number one game matter of fact ninja just did a ninja event on a half not even a one quarter of a game the game is still early access how are we you know how are we celebrating and and you know what it's it's the it's the race to the bottom 
Um, mm-hmm. because what's going to happen is look, Oh, well we already see the results of games such as PUBG and Fortnite. Look what the call of duty did. They pulled their store, their single story, their single player. The, mm-hmm. Black ops has been the best storyline outside of modern warfare bar none. We, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I don't even play call of duty and I know how good the black ops storyline is. Yeah. But that one thing that made it so special Outside of zombies, of course, they pull it. I, but I, it's it, see, it's it's a gang of rumors behind that. That's a rumor still. No, that no, been, no, no, no. Has they, not been confirmed, bro. Because they people have been talking about a, a battle royale being in the game. That's the rumor. More, and more, yeah. The, even the what's the name is still a rumor. The whole it losing its story is still a rumor because they came out and said there was some type of story in there, and then someone said that they scrapped something. To do with the story that the story was supposed to be this uh they were supposed to be going back in time to stop something from happening in the future and then i guess activision heard that and said that that would be too much so they scrapped it but then they said that was still a rumor it hasn't been 100 percent confirmed now regardless if they let it go if they let the story go and they gave something that was if they took their time and made a good game you can't complain about it they took the story and gave a battle royale mode that was better than Fortnite, better than PUBG. You can't say nothing about it. Well, let me tell you why. My whole that... thing is the longevity on it. Now, because and... the game is still a one year game. It ain't a two, three, four, five year game like Fortnite and PUBG is. But let me tell you this, and the reason why I I argue against that is the simple fact that I know plenty of people who still to this day go and buy Call of Duties, not for their online, but for their story modes. I guarantee you there's more people that play online than play the story mode. Well, that's just because of the fact of internet access. But exactly. you gotta think but there's a bunch of people out there running on one one upload to download who can't yeah. keep up. And there's, you go ahead, explain it to them. No, I re- no, I really do <laughs> I disagree with that is because uh in the the com all right, just looking at the competitive scene, right? Looking at Looking at the trend of Call of Duties now, the the race to prestige is a thing. It ain't just it ain't just for YouTubers in a room no more. It's True. teams doing this, and people. Everybody is trying to race to get to the top prestige. I don't think that a lot of people are spending out half, or I don't think a lot of people are okay. So somebody like me, I'm the type of person that will play the story first, then jump online. I think it's ba- I think the majority is backwards. I think majority is everybody gets online, whether you have one upload speed or not. You get online, you play the online. When you get burnt out of that, then you come back to the story. I'm a but tell. I'm a my tell question. You, you're disregarding a large portion of people, man. I'm disregarding a small no, portion of people. You, I guarantee I, you I that. I promise you. I guarantee, I'm telling you. I guarantee you that because. Especially when Black Ops 2 came out, uh-huh. Black Ops 2 story mode was dope. Back, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and say Black Ops 2 to me was the best Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 4. And I didn't even play Modern Warfare 4. I just watched people play that game. So when I when I say that, I played all of the story modes up until Black Ops 3, which I didn't play none of them after that, right? But when you like I said, when you jump on when you jump on and when you watch people play. When you hear people talk about it, a lot of people, in my opinion, don't sit around and play the story mode. They don't really sit. And, and this is just the I'm talking for the I, and I believe it's the majority. There's not statistics backing that. It's just me talking off of pretty much what I see. So I don't think that that's a big problem. I'm just saying if if they took it away and they gave something in replace of it that was better, can't complain for that. I, I I can't complain to that because they gave you something. Now let me now, tell you. Now let me ask you this, and I'm a, I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask Mew as well. Um, now let's say they took away the story, and then they gave you something else. But something else sounds like it requires online. Is that a problem? No, because majority of people play their game online. Okay, Mew. Yeah, I would say I would say no as well. Uh, better internet access is being more widely available to a lot of people it's getting better and better and better as time goes on there is less places in the country in wherever you live where there's shitty internet access you can they're giving out smartphones for free yeah they're giving them out even on your own phone 
you can broadcast it using the hotspot and connect your PC to Wi-Fi or any device in the house to that Wi-Fi. And I have played World of Warcraft off of my phone. Wow. And it's been fine. Mm -hmm. So internet matter access, as I said, more widely available. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I know a few people that don't have like internet service providers. They only use their phone as a hotspot. So they'll they'll use that, but they're not they're not me or you, B, that talk about like, yo, going hardwired was the best thing we've ever did. They don't really care about that. If they get booted offline, they're going to jump back on, and that's that. Because it's more playtime than there is downtime when they're actually in the game playing. So I just think that it's a lot of – the availability for online is there. Like, everybody has the access now. Now, to little kids now, that's a whole demographic. You got to think about their moms, their dads, if they're, if they're allowed to, what they're allowed to do, when they're allowed to do it. So that's the – that's – a small portion that we can't even touch because half of them can't even buy the game to, for themselves. But yeah. for ma the majority, and I agree with you, there's people that play the storyline, but I just think majority of them play online and they, they stick to the online until they get to a board point or they may hit master prestige or they may get all the challenges and get all of the chrome or the camos for their guns and things like that. That's always there. So, these games are coming out and they're they're literally cut and paste. These games haven't changed nothing. They haven't done anything significant in their game to make it like a crash title where everybody goes out and get it. Every, Call of Duty is alive because the esports scene is alive, and I stand by that. If the esports team wasn't if, if the esports scene wasn't there, nobody would play it. And I, I know we're only using Call of Duty at this point, but. They're only there because of the esports scene. The esports scene is scene isn't there. Nobody's playing Call of Duty because Call of Duty is cut and paste. Just change this, change the timeline, and then give me a different type of gun, and that's that. So yeah. that's why they have to remaster World at uh, World at War and Modern Warfare Two and all of these games because it's just not doing good for them. Now, back to the whole reason we're here, Mew Mew. <laughs> yes. Give us a little bit of backstory about yourself in the world of gaming. How long have you been doing it and so on and so forth. Kind of just take it from there. All right. Well, I have been gaming since I was a kid. My mother gamed. Uh, she would nice. play Serious Sam. That's, cool. I think that's what I started off with was Serious Sam. Nice. Yep. That game we was legit. Flowers instead of blood. Oh, <laughs> so, you know, so I yeah. wasn't exposed to the gore, oh, and I'm okay. I'm surprised. I I guess um I'm not really American, so I'm I'm surprised I didn't go around trying to hit people to get flowers to come out. <laughs> 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 so I started off with games like Sam and Quake Three, nice. and then uh, then my mom decided that uh, we need to spend more family quality time together, and this is where the name Moo Moo Cow came from. Okay, so. She decided, oh, we're all, we're gonna make you a World of Warcraft account because she was playing back then with um, nice. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. And we're your gonna mom make sounds a awesome. <laughs> and we're gonna level together and we're gonna raid together and yada yada yada. So I named I made a no warlock, nice. and I only made a warlock because the dress was pink and I liked the dress, and I named it Mimu Cow, and I've had that name ever since. And from the, from there, once I finally got bored of WoW, I got sick of it. Uh, I think I quit. Uh, after Warlords of Draenor, okay. Uh, at the start of it, I was top five in the world. Oh within wow! Twenty-four hours of launch, I was max level. Within forty-eight hours, I had max eye level. As I said, top five in the world. I think I was second on my server for my class. Whoa. Once I got sick of Blizzard's shit, uh, I moved <laughs> on to Rust. Oh, I, I hate. But don't even get me started on Blizzard. <laughs> I will. I will <laughs> for hours and hours in one stop. <laughs> okay, so are you excited for Vanilla? Vanilla WoW? Nope. I'm not playing their games anymore. Oh, oh, damn, like that. I'm, I'm that that sick of them. My... Would you consider that a remaster? No, because they're they're not doing nothing. Well, every, that's lazy. A, a large community wants them to do nothing to it. Yeah, they just want them to. They want them to just open the servers, make it vanilla. Okay. They, they want to. They don't want none of the quality of life stuff. People want to go and suffer. There's a whole community yeah. behind it. Member tip? Oh, there's private servers for that. Yeah. yeah. I just want to play with there are private servers. 
Huh. That's crazy. But, uh, even with authenticators, Blizzard's security system is actually a joke. It is a fucking joke. Mm. I get 30 emails a day that some some hacker has hacked into my account, changed my password, done this, Whoa. done that, sold all my stuff, asked for a recovery to get my stuff back so that they can then sell it again. And it's just a cycle. And they're just constantly Whoa. doing this. Wow. They're selling my stuff and then asking Blizzard to give it back to them and Blizzard does it and then they sell it again and then they do it again and again and again. 30 emails a day I get of this. Wow. And because it's an account from vanilla i have all sorts of mounts and achievements and yada yada, yada that you can't get anymore back in its in my accounts heyday it was worth about seven thousand dollars wow wow so I'm surprised if they're putting my account up for sale selling it to some poor cunt they're fucking they're playing on it and then they hack back into it get the account back and then sell it again Gee, i have no man. idea what they're doing i knew it was I bad i didn't know, I didn't know it was, know that it was bad. this bad holy hell yeah. that's what that's why i don't play anymore Wow, I'm I that's great. Back into it, and I just kept getting hacked again and again and again. And Blizzard just, oh, you jump from Australia to China in the space of five minutes. That's completely normal. Teleportation's a thing now. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Jesus. Wow, that's crazy. You, you know that is. You know what's so nuts about this? And um, I mean, clearly, I have to ask. You're a woman. Do you think uh, you get a lot of that unnecessary hacker attention and just attention in general while gaming? Attention in general, yes. Hacker attention, I've only had that happen to me once mm. when I was playing Rust because, as I stated before off of the podcast, I love building. I okay. mean, I'm a woman. I like to design. I like to build things. It's, there you go. It's fun. Mm -hmm. So that's another reason why I got into Rust was I love the base building and the freedom that you had with it. And I've designed a lot of nutty ass bases. By the time I'm done with these things, on any PC, you're lucky to have five frames inside there. <laughs> lucky. Damn. It just, Rust can't handle it. And it doesn't matter what computer you have, Rust just, it freaks out. And you have like yeah. five frames in here. But I've had a clan that's tried to raid me again and again and again and again. And they just got so mad because they couldn't quite work out what the hell I've done with this base or where things were that they tried hacking into my PC while I'm asleep to try and get the base build. Wow. But the build isn't on my computer. It's online somewhere. Uh -huh. It's hiding in a deep, dark corner, and there's only one copy of it, and that's it. Deep so, web. Nice. So, all right, real, real quick, real quick, because I've, I've, heard, I've heard of Rust uh, plenty of times. What is Rust? What kind of game is Rust? It's, it's a PvP game. If you made it into PvE, that would take out 99.9% .9 of the content. There is no PvE content. There's animals that you can kill, and there's a helicopter, and that's that's really it. The rest of it is designed around PvP. Okay. Uh, there are servers that you can get that they wipe in a week. Like, the whole server will wipe, new map up, you start all over again. Hmm. Others, so two weeks, other ones are a month. So is it like a, is it like a game where... I'm, when I hear Rust and when I've heard people talk of it, I thought of like Mad Max. Just no, you know. I would say more of Ark, if any, than anything else. Okay, so it's, it's the bad version of Ark. Ark is a lot more developed. Uh, it has a lot more content in it. It runs a lot smoother. I unfortunately found Ark before Rust, but I already was burnt out on Rust in that aspect after five thousand hours of playing the game. Jesus Christ! See this. You're I'm gonna tell you this. What I love about PC gamers because we're we're new to the culture. I'm not let me rephrase. Yeah. Not new to the PC culture. I'm we're getting back into it because if you think about most gamers over the age of 20, they started off on PC because yeah. heavy duty console gaming didn't come around what till the early 2000s. Yeah, like online and whatnot. Like our generation of gaming. Um, mm -hmm. we dealt with arcades, internet cafes and whatnot. And we talked about that before. Now speaking, um, speaking on that, um, uh, when I hear PC gamers, when they talk about games that they love, it's never a minimum. It's always a minimum of a thousand hours. Yeah. Like I felt like such a noob saying my couple hundred hours in Starbound, but I'm proud of it. But when I think about somebody who really plays the game, they probably have 1500 on a minimum. Like yeah. it, well, when they have, well, B, have you ever put a thousand hours? 
Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's all right. When they have, when you have the online aspect of things, people rack up a lot more hours than you would on a story mode. You play the story mode, you're done with it, and then you could play it on a harder difficulty or new game plus, but it's the same story. It's the same game that you're playing over and over and over again. People don't really rack up a lot of hours playing that unless they have really difficult, you know, collect them all, yada, 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 yada. Then you might rack up a few extra hours, but if it's online, the game's always changing, even though it's the same game. Something happen, different happens every time. You win, you lose, this guy shot you in the head, you got needed by some ridiculous thing that was a hacker. Like, it's always changing. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that's true. So, you know, and once again, we're rolling along with the PC world. What are you running right now? What's your setup? Oh, right now. Oh, that's that's a good question. Give me a second, and I'll uh, I'll bring that up. Okay. Uh, we're, oh, she's about to bring it up right now. Yeah. Why do I got a feeling she's about to tell me mercury cooled, ten, uh, ten eighty <laughs> titanium, six fans on top of the mercury cooling with a uh, ten thousand from space. Mega how about how about th how about this question? Did you build your own PC? I did. This is my my first PC build. Okay. Wow. I've ever done like custom built. I literally all I did was I went on PC Part Picker and I had a general idea of what a computer needs. Like it needs a motherboard, a keyboard, a mouse, headset, fucking screen, a case for it to go in, fans to cool it, you know, uh, a CPU, a video card, a hard drive. Other that I had a general idea of what it needed. So I just sat there, I went through it and picked out a bunch of parts and then sent it off to someone like, oh, will this work? I didn't realize at the time that different parts aren't compatible with each other they all have to be compatible. Uh, so he tweaked it a little bit and was like here this will work and i'm like all right sweet um i just sat i got all the parts waited until they all arrived and i sat there like this thing was a fucking jigsaw puzzle and I'm, like, <laughs> 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 I'm so see i i've already made up my mind that uh, from because my setup is a laptop setup from yeah. my setup i want to go to a pc but i want to build it on my so yeah. I, I want to get by the parts and build it all. But the one thing I'm scared of, and I know B can attest to this, is I'm scared of messing it up. Yeah. So I always got in my other hand, hey, what the what? hell are you doing? You might but I, I, I kind of want to challenge myself and build it, but I'm low-key scared at the same time. I'm not going to fucking was... do it. I'm not doing oh, I'm it. Scared, dude. I'm not doing it because my first setup, I want it to be able to last for a few years. So I'm gonna pick up a damn. I'm gonna pick up a uh, a graphics card that's probably gonna cost seven, eight hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't want to ruin my setup. So I'm gonna go get a professional Come with on. a goddamn. No, fuck that. I got nothing to prove. You know how much money that shit costs. Nothing to prove. I got nothing, nothing to prove. To prove. I got it's not about nothing to prove. Yeah, I, then why are you worried only about you, it? Only you then why are you worried about it? Because I want somebody to fail with me. No, hell no. <laughs> this ain't fail money. No, sir. No, sir. Um, you are brave. Mew Mew, you are brave as hell. You, I sweat too much to be working in a motherboard. I, nah, I think, bro, I think what, all what it takes is a sweat drop to ruin your whole setup. What what make what motivates me to do it though, like to actually sit down and try to put a PC together is oh well first off we're in that realm we're trying True. to get into PC gaming. True. Something may happen to your PC and it, it ain't always as e or it is as easy as saying hey well I'm just sending it to somebody but now you got to take the PC up pack it up pocket send it there you got to make sure that it gets back and it's working properly. Where oh, I would just go to the you guy could, around the corner. We got a or, computer or, shop. Yeah, you, or you could do that. But um, with us being in this realm of PC gaming and then being in this whole, you know, streaming, they got streamers building PCs on stream. Mm. They got kids building PCs on YouTube. They got, yeah. it's, it doesn't seem like it's. I saw a kid shooting a bazooka too. Yeah. Yeah. But that don't mean I'm trying to shoot a damn bazooka. Look, you go ahead and shoot I'm, a bazooka. Man, my point is I'm just terrified of putting that. If I had bread, money to blow, then okay. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. It'd be like, let's get in there, let's do it. But I feel like most people who really be on uh who be on Twitch building computers, they're sponsored. 
have you seen the videos where they have like racks of graphics cards behind them? And yeah, it, no, it's the, ridiculous. Those are, those are super big people. I'm talking about there's people, just regular people, thousand subscribers, five hundred subscribers on Are you YouTube. ready to risk your six hundred plus dollar graphics card? I think pride? I am. Well then uh, there I you am. go. That answers the All question. Right, you wanna know how much mine cost me? Mew, do it. Probably about now that I've done some upgrades, maybe about two thousand dollars. You hear that? It's not bad. You hear that? And uh, b- back to my setup. Now yeah. that I have it up. Oh my bad. Yeah, go ahead. We talk too much. <laughs> yeah, we, Just we tell us to is. shut up, man. Like we talk a yeah, lot. Right. <laughs> uh, the CPU is an i5 for five ninety. Okay. I have twelve gigs of DDR three RAM. Nice. Uh, I gigabyte motherboard the H nine seven M dash D three H. Hmm. A 1050 Ti graphics card, a 250 gig solid state, and a one terabyte shitty ass hard drive. Uh, the most expensive things that I probably have in my computer, or in my computer, would probably be my graphics card. Yeah. I did have that 1050 until I upgraded. The 1050 cost me about 300 bucks, and I got most of that as a birthday present. So I only put like an extra fifty bucks into it, so I could get that specific one. Nice. Okay. The keyboard, so, though, three hundred dollar keyboard when I bought it. Damn. What's a razor? The, the razor, black widow, chroma, green switches. Ooh. Razor, you got a razor mouse as well? No. Oh god, razor make, makes terrible mice. My mouse is the one that I originally got when I built this, and I fucking love it. It's some really weird Asian mouse. Okay. Like twenty bucks, uh-huh. but I I I love this thing. It's got buttons here, here, here. Oh damn! Up here, you got your right, you got your left. Oh, wow. And it's all side, programmable. Got... It's all program. Yep. Uh, oh damn! You got all these side buttons. There are yeah. weights. I did take them out though. Oh damn! Uh, okay. So that kind of favors. That kind of favors the mouse I've been looking at, and I I only want to calibrations and all that stuff taken care of. But uh, it's the Logitech 502. I, I like the way it fits in my hand. That kind of favors it. It got like the button at the top and all of that. So, huh. Nah, that's, looking at you. that's badass. So what can you run on your, um, what games do you run usually? Because I heard you say, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I never really, well, I kind of played wow on this for a while. Uh, probably towards the end of when I started getting sick of this shit. Oh yeah, I and forgot. then I moved yeah. on to Rust. Uh, that was with my 380. Mm. Now, I don't. Every computer seems to have its personality. True. I know it's kind of a weird thing to say, but mine just takes so much shit. <laughs> yeah, so much <laughs> shit, man. Like five five frames a second. Now in Rust, if you log off, your base and your stuff still there. You can get offline rated. Nah. I am playing that game. I have a macro <laughs> on my keyboard that'll open up the console in game and start typing to connect into that server's IP. So if the server goes down or resets, it'll auto reconnect me when I'm asleep. Oh, so wow. I'm always online. Wow. So that, I would turn my headset up full ball. So I wouldn't really wake up to anything, but if someone starts barraging the base with rockets, I'm up. <laughs> let's go let's go Damn. that is amazing that's so, amazing this pc has probably run for months and months and months straight running rust 24 7 like get rebooted Damn. maybe once a day and then it's back at it that's, that's i crazy. love it i <laughs> love it oh. i guess the the only the only real uh question i have and since you built your PC, you'd probably be able to answer it, is, for example, or not for example, when upgrading, is it as easy as purchasing and sliding it in, or do you got to upgrade multiple things as well as that upgrade? Yes and no. Short okay. answer. All right. Uh, no, as in I had a 380 graphics card, and I bought my 1050 Ti. I just went... Nice. That was it. Okay. Did the, did the updates for the drivers and stuff. That's the only really you got to update that, but you don't. That's not a physical part you have to put in there. Okay. If you're upgrading your CPU, yes. 
because mm. the motherboard needs to fit the the size or the shape or whatever the fuck it is. I'm still pretty new to this okay. uh, of the CPU that you're buying and the RAM as well. So if I was going to go to a um, i9 something or other, then I would need to upgrade my motherboard so it fits that. I would need to obviously buy the CPU and upgrade the RAM to DDR4. I wouldn't be able to use DDR3 anymore. Okay, uh, got you. I would have to okay. get, and that's more expensive. So I do have a new CPU coming. I am running, as I said, an i5 4590. And that's why I asked what you were running. I'm getting yeah. Is an i7 4590. It's the same. It will fit into my motherboard, and I won't have to upgrade that. But there's only so much of a limit. It's a very small window there where mm. I can upgrade it without buying a whole bunch of bullshit at once. Okay. So it's just certain things that needs to be. Yeah. Like like you said, motherboard, CPU, RAM. Yeah. Th- okay. Those three are generally a combination. Very small window where you can upgrade. Okay. Yeah, I, I just was concerned. I'm not at that point of trying I part my laptop is actually running smooth. It's great right now. It started off rocky when I first started, but uh to know that is it puts me in a better boat because now I know what to expect. Especially someone that I'm really like I really tried to I re, I guess I I used to think, oh yeah, the parts really matter. Mm. But if you don't know how to play the game, how can you say that? Yeah, because well, I'm sitting here thinking like, oh, yeah, I got a laptop that can play PUBG. Oh, I'm about to be the shit. Mm. Shit. <laughs> I could barely get a kill. I could barely shoot on PUBG. <laughs> well, you know what? And this this is it's funny because this is what pulled me away from PC gaming, because I, I mean, first off, I was a kid. You know, it wasn't like I can go off and buy my own rig. And my mom, she only had what she had. So I couldn't keep up. You know, there's there's some guy at home running, well, we'll just say a 980 at the time, you know, like running this high end uh, graphics card with a high end monitor and freaking whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm sitting here with my basic dyno trying to keep up. He all, he sees me before he renders on my screen like, like and you it, that's that's why I walked away from PC because hey. of the playing field turned into if you're not really about it then go home like don't yeah. like it's, stay it's out so, of here it's so sad that you say that because i'm playing PUBG mobile and it's like that on, on yeah PUBG mobile. my lg5 cannot keep up with the test of time i'm playing against people with what's the galaxy nines s's and shit i it could bet i, my friends I, I like, might hey. spoil it a bit there for you and, and make you feel even worse why PUBG Mobile, they've tried to develop it much like uh, CSGO. Oh, wow. As you level up, you play with people of the same level. Oh, yeah. Mostly bottom tier, and it it gets better, I guess, um, as you progress, is full of bots. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that. Oh, that's trash. I know that. You out there getting botted? No, no, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually. His well, voice and I know it's bots. I know it's bots. I know it's bots in the game. He gets and, uh, No, I don't. It's just <laughs> it's when okay. you get to. It's okay, you man. About? I just tweeted I got a a win the other day, and you and that was in the box. That was against real people. We're actually watching them play. Well, but you know, you what need I'm more about than to say, two people to be a fruit salad. You know, you need more than two people to be a. What? Uh, like <laughs> fix yourself dog <laughs> all right well what i was about to say was well i'm not really talking about that what i'm talking about is like the way it plays on the phone because i even a guy with a the newest samsung let me play it and it feels so smooth running it that it feel that i can't even play on his i'm so used to playing on this crappy phone that i gotta wait till shit renders i'm getting stuck in between tables and shit because i'm running into the tables that's happened to me on on xbox but um on my phone it just doesn't work i mean in tantric but i didn't know that there was bots and shit <laughs> in <laughs> pubg <laughs> but the I bots had are... that problem when i had my my 380 was I could I couldn't do hot drops. I had to drop so fucking far away from the plane because my graphics card 
needed so much time to figure out what the fuck was going on and what it was doing. Okay. And if I did do hot drops, have you ever seen like the buildings and they look like they're a fucking mashed potato? Yep. Yeah, buildings? potato buildings. Yeah. If I uh, if I did do hot drops with a squad or whatever, I couldn't go into these buildings. I would be glitching through them. But what mm. I could do instead was jump in a car and start driving through buildings and running people over. Nice. <laughs> it's so funny. And, and remember we were talking about when PUBG first came out for Xbox, if it runs better on the Xbox S or X or whatever the hell uh-huh. the new one is. I guarantee you it does because playing on Xbox, our, our, the first time this happened to me, I was scared. I didn't know what was going on. I ran into a building and the building wasn't even fully up yet. It just, once I got to, I knew that there was a door there and I opened it. As I go into the building, I run to a corner and sit down because nothing's popping up yet. The refrigerator and everything spawns up, and now you can't see my character. You can only see the refrigerator. I can't move. I can't do anything. So, yeah, it's I, I, I just playing on these low-end like phones for the mobile and even Xbox, the original Xbox, I know it's shitty. I know it takes forever to, re- to render. That's oh, the man, only man. point I will ever give console. PC Master Race, man. Is okay, right. Playing online games on a console really levels out the playing field. Is yep. You've got your your three or whatever, your three versions. You got your Xbox, your Xbox One, your Xbox 360, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Everyone's playing on this particular one. They all have the same setup. Yeah. That's that's the only point I will ever get, give console. Ever. Yeah. You've made that. You've, you've talked about oh, that, too. I, no, that... I mean, going back to my original point, that's why I jumped to it. Because, it, yeah. like like Mew just said, it levels the playing field. It makes it to where I don't have to worry about... Outside of... You still got to worry about the aesthetics. Somebody running a, a high-quality TV. It I learned the hard way the difference between 60 hertz, 120, 144, and so on. I didn't know that there was a difference until I went to a hotel room and played online. And all of a sudden, my game was moving faster. No, yeah. it just was rendering better. Like it, mm-hmm. it just, you know what I mean. And it's it's so funny. And I used to have to give tips to my coworkers because we used to all run on crappy TVs. That when we would go play at hotel rooms while we we're traveling, we would take a break from the game, and then jump back on so our eyes could adjust. Because you would your whole play style changes. You'll mess up your play, just like how you said when you jump to the higher, uh, a better quality phone playing uh, PUBG. And you felt like you couldn't keep up. Well, imagine doing that. Imagine on console, all of a sudden your same moves aren't registering the same. Yeah, see, the, and that happens. Exact. That happens when you go from different TVs. You remember coming to my house? I had that fat back TV yep. for the longest. Yep. I I had to when PlayStation Three came out. I had to go and buy the composite cables. The red, <laughs> actually, it was it was green, blue, and all of them colors. To run on that TV because I was not about to go play on. Yeah, it may be sixty inch, it may be beautiful, but just it don't feel right. It yep. just something's off with it. Excuse me, and I still wish I had that TV, but I don't. <laughs> now, okay, so Mew. Now having you here, I feel like it would be a waste not to ask about some of the more, um, the more jacked up experiences through gaming. Now. Let me give you a little story leading into it. So I'm playing, I'm playing Call of Duty or some online shooter, and my wife, girlfriend, she was my girlfriend at the time. She's hanging out, and she was like, "Oh, I want to get into the voice chat." Now I said, "Now yeah. look, I love you, <laughs> but I can't protect you from anything that's about to happen." She looks at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, "No, you have no idea. It's gonna get bad, and I can do nothing for you other than turn the game off when we go watch a movie." So. <laughs> I give her the headset, and within 10 seconds, they were rotating trying to figure out who was going to skull fuck her first. And it 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 really was bad within, I mean, like I said, within 10 seconds. And then it got so belligerent that they we just booted out of the party, out of the game, and the whole, we just walked away from it. And she, <laughs> she hasn't put on a headset since. So I have to ask you, as somebody who is a gamer... You know, we're, we're gamers first. I don't care. We're gamers. We live this stuff, clearly. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have a green screen behind you if you didn't live it. But <laughs> I, I would, I'm not an idiot. I understand that 
you have to have a completely different experience than us as men. So give me some of your background, like give me some of the craziest things that you've dealt with when it comes to gaming online as as a woman. Uh, It definitely is a different experience. Um, Oh man, where do I even fucking start? First of all, there's three different types of males you will run into as a woman. One of them is grill, grill. Oh my God, let me give you stuff. Oh my God, you're a grill. Like if I give you stuff, you're gonna suck my dick, whatever. Uh, The other one is the abusive one. Like, oh, you fucking bitch, get back in the kitchen. What are you doing? Fucking, I go do my laundry, you know. And the other one is much like you guys. Oh, you're a girl. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Okay. But it's just, it's really weird. Um, Since I've grown up PC gaming and being online, I'm very used to the culture. I know, I know what's going to happen. It doesn't bother me. I get guys trying to talk shit to me. Uh, But when you turn around and you have the same witty comebacks one of their their mates would have or one of the boys would have, it really throws them off guard. They're like, oh, shit, what do I do? (laughs) Or if you really just slaughter into them, even worse than their mates, they're like, right? what do I do? (laughs) Hey, that's like roll bounce. You, You remember roll bounce when she snapped on dude? Yep. And they kind of yep. accepted her into the group. So that that's what it kind of sounds like. I'm yeah. I guess I'm what I'm I'm glad to hear that because normally when well at young going back to PlayStation 3 playing games and girls would jump in, it's always been like, oh like it's always somebody somebody was always in the party that had something to say because she was a girl. Mm-hmm. But I, I just remember playing against this girl and she was whooping our ass and i i i just and i remember saying yo somebody gotta tell her you're sorry <laughs> somebody <laughs> somebody has to apologize to her Jesus Christ. yeah somebody <laughs> has to because we're, we're in a party we're a group and you yeah. just you just said something about her and yeah. she just whooped all of our asses <laughs> somebody yeah. has to tell her i'm sorry and, and that's why i never really had this it's all oh, yeah get real f- frazzled and excited when a girl jumped into a game because there's games that i mean girls are just as there's girls out there better than me at most of the games i probably play you know and and i think once you get that in your mind then that whole excitement for a girl being in your presence is is all out the window yeah i'm glad to see that you know there's girl gamers but i'm not excited to be like oh yeah i'm gonna treat you like i treat baron or i treat my other friends that play the game with me, oh, yeah, let's be friends. Send you a friend request just because you're a girl. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> I, I've heard that happen a lot. When I, mm-hmm. first, when I first started streaming, I started when I was playing WoW, and the TD streamers were really bad then. I would, mm. I would get whispers on Twitch like, hey, you know, just show a bit more cleavage and I'll tip you 20 bucks. I'm like, bitch, this ain't my free kids. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get out of here! Now, and I would get whispers for the, in game too. And for those who don't know, titty streamers are bikini streamers is a term that was um, kind of coined because a lot of people felt that women were coming into the streaming world, actually taking from the quote unquote real streamers viewerships. And yeah, it, it was a it was a negative term to use. Just trying to give people some background for those who don't know. Um, mm-hmm. And then on top of it, there were some real bikini streamers who oh, yeah. really yeah. like, oh, no, they're, like they're, yeah, they're, like, they're there. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not trying to say they don't exist, but there are it porn became a stars t- that actually stream on yeah. Twitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I just think this space has become has branched out to so many different things that there's room for them here. I guess I'm not yeah. gonna tell them, hey, you're, you're fucking it up for me. Like yeah. <laughs> that's that's I mean, not. I don't think that's my place, you know. You know what I'm saying? So continue. I guess, yeah, I, I just yeah. I just wanted to get people some background so they knew what the hell is it. Well, I got a question for you. Is it worse when you're streaming or is it worse when you're in the game? Mm. Uh nowadays, uh like my recent experience on Twitch, I haven't had that a lot. It's a lot worse in games. Mm-hmm. Um I have quite often 
uh, on purpose and not intended, using use the womanness to an advantage. Got you. So when I was playing Rust, is I'd have you know five or ten of my mates behind me, and I I couldn't shoot. I've I've gotten a lot better at aiming since playing PUBG, but back in Rust, I was fucking trash. I was the bait. I would run out there so they would shoot me so that I could work out where they were and shoot them for me. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's what I would do. So we would go up to people's houses, and they would all hide in bushes behind me, and I'll just go up by myself and knock on their door, and in the most sweetest of voice, excuse me, do you have any pookie bears? I really like to collect them, <laughs> you know, and get them to, to come out of the house, and they'll come, oh, yeah, sure, here you go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> nice. She and was honey party. On purpose. She was yeah. honey party. <laughs> and that's one of my like on purpose. Like, well, since I can do it, I might as well. Yeah, yeah. The accidental ones is, as I said, I couldn't aim, so I'd try and mow some kid down, and he would get me first. You know, what, what, yada, yada, yada. And then he would start talking shit and chat, like, "Oh, you're so fucking trash," yada, 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 yada. Oh, I, he had this, and he had that, and he, he, he. And then one of my clan mates would be the one that would pipe up and be like, "Actually, it's a girl." And they're like, "Oh God, I'm so sorry, yada, yada. Come back, and I'll give you your stuff." Like, <laughs> and that would be an accidental. Like, I didn't actually want that to happen but it did so i'll take it anyway there you go hey and and you know what it's um it, it's funny because i i like asking the weird questions because i've heard about people being proposed to i've heard about outrageous requests i mean like what's the craziest thing somebody's asked you l- while streaming if you don't mind while streaming definitely the you know unzip you know show me some boobs i'll give you some money for it that specifically on twitch that was the first time when i tried streaming and because of uh those interactions and it wasn't just like one or two like it was all the time and i was a lot younger then um i just i didn't want to do it anymore i didn't want to have to deal with that on a daily basis i haven't Mm -hmm. had that happen since i've started streaming again the odd couple of times, but usually it's a mate, someone oh, gotcha. that I know. It's not a oh, random okay. person that's come in uh, like it was before asking me to show tits. Yeah. Uh, the the weirdest thing I've ever happen, had happen is the typical 12-year-old virgin. Uh... Right. <laughs> it's the girl gamer, you know. It's more of them life, nowadays. Yada, yada, yada. There really is. Uh Quite often, you know, he's been asking me to send nudes, yada, yada, yada. I would come back with all sorts of comebacks. So like, oh, yeah, my nudes are in. Go into your mum's room, the bottom drawer, right-hand side, behind the dildos. That's our sex tape. You can get my nudes from there. Hey, <laughs> there you go. No, and you, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, and that was a question I was going to ask. Do you find it easier just to ignore or do you troll back? Because, troll back, definitely. Okay, because so trolling they back is... Done, they don't know what to do. Yeah. You just ignore them. They get they're gonna keep going because it's obviously bothering you if you're ignoring it. Yeah, um, I find comedic but this relief went a lot further. <laughs> was this kid kept bugging me and bugging me and bugging me, and you know, with all the trolling and stuff, I just I can't be bothered. I just stop mm. replying to him. Uh, and as I said, he's a young kid. He's twelve, maybe fourteen. At one point, he like he messaged me on Discord. He's bugging me still. I just can't be bothered, mate. So what does he do? He sends me a dick pic. I'm like, nope, that's fucking child porn. Block, delete, delete, delete. Yeah. Okay. See ya. Nope. That's nope. no. That's, yeah. That that is the line right there. You just sent me child porn. Uh-huh. No. And see that's that it, it's so crazy because these are things like these are things that I don't have to worry about as a game. Yeah. Now I, I've I mean I've been called a nigga from here to the moon, but I don't have to worry about. S- somebody sending me a dick pic i don't have to worry about somebody trying to marry me well and only reason i say that is because my cousin i have i have female i have cousins who game and uh she told me she was like yeah i've been proposed like twice like it and and it's seriousness and then are you here about the drama that gets formed just because somebody in the group starts to like you and then somebody else like and these are just are you playing with you're playing with this person more than I brought you in the clan, and you're playing with this person yeah. more than you're playing with they, I've had those boys things. Happen. Over me in the clan, Jesus. I've had that happen too. Um, oh god, there was something else I was gonna gonna put out there. I've gotten a lot of dick pics, 
Mm. It, it doesn't really bother me. Wow, you sent me a picture of your dick. Good for you. What do you What do you expect? I'm gonna mm-hmm. go over there and jump on it. Like fuck off. <laughs> that, the child porn. That was a line. That's no. no okay. And uh, this this one bloke. I wanna I wanna leave him nameless. But this is a this is a really interesting story. Oh, here we go. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so he kept bugging me for tit pics. Like send me boobs. Send me boobs. Send me boobs. And I go. Finally, I'm like, all right, I will send you tits, a picture of, of tits, if you send me a dick pic. But I, this dick pic, I want my name written on it, like Moo. I want it written on it. <laughs> so he doesn't. But in typical me fashion, I never said that there would be my tit pics. That was never specified. Oh. <laughs> so I went on 4chan, found a picture of tits, there you go. Never specified that there would be my tits. Mm-hmm. So he did it, and he sent it to me. I sent him the picture back, yada, yada, yada. And he starts questioning it, like, these aren't your tits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't worry about it. And one day, hey, man, he, don't worry he about getting, it. Yeah, just fucking... And uh, one day, he starts getting, you know, salty. He's in one of those moods, and he starts, mm. like, trying to take it out on me. I'm like, you really want to go there, mate? You really want to do this? And he's like, oh, yeah, fucking moo, you fucking... He's just hits right so i'm like all right so i take this dick pic and i post it in the discord oh shit! <laughs> it gets deleted i post it again it gets deleted now the best part is for whatever fucking reason some random like in our discord one of our clan mates had this dick pic copied <laughs> oh, shit. for whatever fucking reason and he accidentally posted it in some random streamer's discord and got banned Mm. Like he thought he had something else copied, but it was the dick pic, and he posted it in this streamer's Discord. Damn. Now, since then, this picture, as far as I know, has disappeared off the face of the internet. I'm sure if I dug hard enough for days on end, I would probably find it, but I don't really mm-hmm. care that much. Google that said, everything. I've, <laughs> I've got a lot of dick pics. Doesn't really bother me. Mm-hmm. The child porn is where the line is. Oh yeah, yeah of like, course. Don't you fucking dare. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. See, I- I'm more see once I know someone's age, like I like for example, when I stream and people jump in and they're talking to me and we're as if we're talking and interacting through you in my stream, that's cool. But like once it goes beyond that, like you start messaging me on Facebook mm. or I'm sorry, like Twitter, like Discord, um, even on my my accounts, like my Xbox account, my PSN account, it gets weird. and I. Yeah, it gets kind of out of hand at some point. And that's as far as it's gone with me. That's a minuscule to things that you Yeah, you just described have just just described to us. So Oh, there's another one that I nice. just, just remembered. One of these the clans that I was fighting against, the one I'm pretty sure that uh hacked into my PC to try and get my base built. They uh they found they found my Facebook and it's not it's not hard to find. I don't really give a shit if you find it. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't really care. Yeah, uh, but what they did with it was they took one of my pictures and they posted it up inside their base, and then next oh, to it shit. he took a dick pic and posted it right next to my picture. That's another like wow. one of those weird things that happened. Wow. And it, didn't, it didn't really bother me. It's like mm-hmm. wow, now you have a picture. But of it, it's just crazy that that is that is something that you had to experience. Like it's cool that you got that demeanor about it. That's a that's a damn good thing, and I think that's just years of PC gaming. Because the mm-hmm. PC community has always been vile. Let's just yeah. be real. There's never been a, a peaceful time in PC no. gaming. Like, but like it, that's crazy that somebody took the time, found your picture, put it in game in a, in game file, posted it on their wall in their base. Then fi- like that took a lot of. That's creepy. Yeah, that's and that's time, man. That's just time. <laughs> It bothered my clan mates more. They were the ones that went to the server admin and were like, "Hey, this guy did this." It didn't. I don't. I don't give a shit. But mm-hmm. they cared more about it than I did to get it removed. Yeah. But, yeah. Like that was their line. My line's way over and yonder. It's a very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way over here. Oh, Everyone it else takes is a lot. like up here. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So you just gotta have tough skin. It seems like you got it. Got them yeah. duck feathers. Let's just roll off. I, yeah. I, I just look at it when I look at it and I hear stories like this because I used to game with girls, like girls in our clan, mm. um, girls that I, I've met in game. When PlayStation Home came out on PS3, 
we used to be, that was like real life Sims. You go in there, you could create things, you cre- you had you could buy property in game and all of this. And you would meet people in there, meet people yeah. with like, you know, that play the same games as you and you would play. And I just remember one story of a, a girl I used to play with, and this was way back in the day. And every time we jumped into a room, I all I always felt like I had to defend her. Now she wasn't I she lived all the way in Minnesota. And I just when people would jump in and say stuff on the mic and it kind of got out of hand. But then I realized like this this shit is never gonna stop. This will always be here. So hearing you talk about it and hearing you mention these, it's like, man, I rem- I remember something similar to it. But to hear it actually, because she didn't care either, but you are different because you don't care and you'll troll back, which is yeah. cool, which is cool to hear because you don't hear a lot of people do that. But and my hat's off to you. And mm. and you know what? Um, it's, it's crazy because I heard a lot of the other end of it where um, a lot of my friends who game that are women, they they don't even go on the uh, game chat. They don't even yeah. join parties. Every time they log on to anything, they mute. Uh, yeah. it it because it's immediate, you know, mm-hmm. and it's it's just so trippy because that's so much of the experience of gaming. Think about back when game chat was everything. Because remember, party chat really console wise became more prevalent in the this Xbox this generation. Yeah, but remember, game chat was everything. You you as soon as you got on when the when Call of Duty would load up, everybody be on the sides, and you just see the the uh, speakers flaring, everybody just talking mess yeah. like that. That was it. So yeah. when you lose that aspect of the game because you can't even get a word out without getting without getting berated by everything every time. You know that that's just nut. That's just especially crazy. if you're hardcore, like you want to win. I want to yeah. win everything. You want to make all the car call outs? That must be stressful. Yeah. Well, the men only really have a couple of comebacks to, to women. It's the, you're fat, you're hairy, go in the fucking kitchen, make me a sandwich, bitch. And other than that, there isn't really much variety. Yeah. Uh, That's it. So once you get over that, like, yeah, whatever, I'm a chick. Uh, get your uh, jokes up. <laughs> the only time I really mute in game chat is when I'm just sick of blah, 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 blah. So uh, shut up. Yeah. Like, it's mm. not even directed at me. Just, just I really don't want to listen squeakers. to a bunch of Asians, squeakers. Like, I just, I don't, like, go away. The squeakers are heavy. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. crazy. I get accused of being a squeaker a lot because I sound kind of like a 12-year-old kid. I'm not uh, going to lie. A lot of people have said, oh, you sound like a fucking dude. And I'm like, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I, I thought the same thing when I first heard you. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a beer, and then you burp. Yeah, <laughs> you came yeah. back, and I was like, "Oh no, <laughs> she's wrong." You're a shit. What's going on here? I get that a lot. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah. So, getting into uh, what well, 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 what made you start streaming? Is it just something that came? Is it something like? Yeah, it was just something to try out. I mean. Okay. Uh, at the moment, all I'm really doing is studying. And other than that, I'm sitting there playing games most of the time. Okay. So why not stream it while I'm doing it? Why not try and, you know, make some new friends, get some viewers, followers, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm in Rust, the particular servers that I play on. I'm rather well known. A lot of the times I'll be playing or talking shit to someone. And someone's like, hey, me! And I'm like... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Uh, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> what do I remember you from? I'm yeah. <laughs> Damn. See, that's gotta that's gotta be intense. See, I haven't made any fame yet. Like, um, I'm pretty low on the totem pole on just about everything I play. Um, but uh, that... he mad. Is he famous? Yeah, right. He got he got some fans out there. <laughs> A stalker I... here or there. I, man, you know what? I don't have any hardcore stalkers. That I mean, would I'm I guarantee you got a silent stalker somewhere. Somebody, somebody that just lurk. Yeah. Cause it's cause when you first started streaming and uh like you, you start he started streaming, he would stream, and then he was doing it heavy, and then I would jump in and be like five, six people watching, but nobody really talking except for like the normal people that would talk. And then we're just interacting, everybody interacting, talking shit to each other. But it's like, yo, it's only three of us talking. And 
I'm like, man, where the where the next guy at? Every day for like a week. I'm like, yo, you got a stalker out there, man. So, <laughs> somebody keeping tabs on you, man. They got your picture all on their wall. Hey, <laughs> hey, and, and speaking on that, and I know you mentioned Mew about your Facebook. Um, that's something that we discussed because uh, there was there was a famous uh, YouTube couple. Um, mm. A guy came and in, busted into their house and held them up at a uh, gunpoint. And the cops yeah. had to kill. I, I don't know the couple's name, but it was a big story that was going around. Yeah, and, it was it was all over the internet. Yeah, and that's something that uh, you know me and T Jones talk about. It's like, damn, there's only so much we can do, and yeah. I'm, I'm act, that's a legit worry of mine because it's not just me. If I was up in some apartment with my, you know, in my closet streaming, I wouldn't care. But I got my wife and kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is this is not only my place of streaming and gaming. It's my home. You know, yeah. or my baby sleep. So if all of a sudden somebody found my IP and went all in and start sending me st- like that would be crazy. I wouldn't even know what to do. But mm. it sucks that that's a risk that we take in streaming. And I don't know. I went on a rant and I'm sorry. No, well, I guess the question <laughs> would be, is, that, is that a valid concern for you? And, do, oh, and you if it is, do you take some type of precaution for that? I mean, you ain't really got to go in depth. Yeah, other than, you know, that one time where they tried to, to hack into my computer and, and get the base build, I haven't really had anything like that happen uh, because I'm all the fucking way in Australia. People people are lazy. Mm. That is the basic aspect of the entire world. People spend extra money because they're fucking lazy. True. No one is going to fly all the way to Australia just to be a cunt. Yeah. Um, swatting, though, that's a real thing. Yeah. Uh, where they get your IP. I, I don't know if that's still a thing where they can just send a fucking SWAT team to your house under a false alert and all of a sudden you, you're getting pulled away. Somebody uh, actually died here in the States uh, a couple months ago. The yeah, that, death see, that's, due to swatting. That, that story was uh, was pretty crazy, but I guess the, the one thing that I've always heard, and I'm not sure how familiar you are with uh, YouTube. I um, might just drop. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you yeah. now. All right. So uh one thing I learned from a guy named Keemstar who who does like drama alert on YouTube is that uh what to kind of avoid that is to go to your local pol- you know police station or you know department and let them know, hey, I am a streamer. Hmm. I do this, that, and the third. These are the potential things that can happen. If you ever receive a call about my house or my home, please give me a call before things get out of hand. And the crazy thing about that is it worked for him because he got streamed. He got swatted on stream playing Fortnite, went outside, handled the police, came back and won the match, which was crazy to me. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, you know, the reason why we asked you, you know, if, if if that's a concern for you, because this is all new to us. Yeah, we're we're, you know, I, I feel like a super baby and especially on the PC realm. Like, so, you know, you the, you the grandmaster when it comes to this. We coming to you for knowledge. Because <laughs> like, yeah. I, I even try to, like, watch specific some things I say, you know, certain things I may post. It's, uh, no matter what you say online these days you're gonna piss somebody off yeah. and i have pissed off a lot of people like really driven at home fuck you <laughs> i have pissed off so many people like they've tried to talk shit to me and i've been like uh-uh nope and just fucking polish them publicly yeah. too like in in-game chat like public chat just fucking destroyed them so i pissed off a lot of people and i've never i haven't been swatted uh, the current system that I'm on, the current network that I'm on at the moment, if someone did try to attack me or attack my IP or this network, uh, the server would turn around, figure out who you are, where you are, and fucking fire it back 50 times harder and fucking destroy your PC. Mm, nice. That's crazy. And we can talk off camera about all that. I, I have no uh, idea how that works. I didn't build that. <laughs> I don't know, fuck it. All I know is that's what it does. That's the power. Uh, my boyfriend built it. Yeah. <laughs> well, shout out to your boyfriend because yeah, yeah, yeah he's a legend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I have that security being here 
but being online, you, as I said, you're going to piss somebody off. Just being online, you're already taking that risk. Streaming, you're multiplying that risk because it's available publicly. Facts. Uh, more publicly, more accessible. They can figure out where you are with sound even. They could try and, you know, whereabouts are you or a reflection off of something might show the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that they could use Google Maps to figure that out if they were that dedicated. That's, uh, these are all facts. Said, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just, just being online. That's something that it's a risk you already take. Yeah. Wow. Well, there you have it. <laughs> and you, so, you know what? We're actually hitting around that mark that time. So, any, you know what? First off, I want to say thank you for joining us. We don't do too many interviews. And this is actually a really dope experience. And, <laughs> uh, you know what? We got to have you on more often. And yeah, for sure, man. Do you have any, like, parting words of wisdom and just anything to say for the good people out there? If you're getting if you're getting trolled, someone's pissing you off. No one has a comeback if you agree with them. You're fucking shit. Here I am. What's your point? <laughs> you can't aim. You're fucking dog shit at the game. Yeah, I know. And- you're right. That's solid right there. I I appreciate that one. <laughs> I used to always try to fight back. I ain't fighting back no more. Right, B. No, just yeah. Yeah. You you no beat me at Street Fighter. You win. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm the greatest at Street Fighter, and you just heard Travis say it. So on this one, <laughs> yes, I, yes, he is. I, there you go. On this note, I am Baron J six seven. Oh, before you sign off, if, is there any other links? Oh yeah, or is there... where can people find you at? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Who me? Yeah, yeah. you. You're important. Oh, oh, oh. It's it's sad because I they I talk really to us all the to time. You. I pointed <laughs> to you on my Discord screen right here. I'm all bad right now. <laughs> yeah, like they talk to us all the time, so yeah. Well, there's the YouTube, which doesn't have a Moo Moo Cow link, but I will give it to them to post below the video and twitch.tv forward slash Moo Moo Cow, M E U H M E U H C O W. Nice. <laughs> Mew Mew Cow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Dude, pleasure being here. I am Baron J67. And I am T Jones. And you make sure to subscribe. Oh, I'm so sorry. Go say it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck it. There's a woman talking, just gonna talk over the top. <laughs> oh, she got me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and I'm Mimu Cow. Yeah. No, he's dead. You, yeah, were, you, you were have my permission to speak. <laughs> <laughs> and I am now done. Please subscribe to all of us. Sub, 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 sub. To all of us. All of us. <laughs> Damn it. We need you. Help us. <laughs> I'm trying uh, to feed my family with this. We, we hear you, <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Peace, peace out.